anyways, let me move on to the next question. So next question is F exception. Can you weigh on weigh in on a typical outcome of priced fed uh, priced in fed cut on euro dollar should we expect the euro to rise today if rates on hold again mate no idea none of us have any idea what is going to happen with price yeah so let's say for example they hold yeah let's say for example they hold and prices start to do what let's say for example prices start to go higher yeah you know what that does Actually, this is I'm, I'm on the wrong chart. Should we do my analysis on this one? Um, that's the weekly. Let me go into the daily. All right. So, what does that do for me? All right, in the moment. Right. So they they hold rates and then prices go up. That lets me know that I'm getting in to buy the, the dollar at a cheaper price. That's the only way I look at it. I can't look at it in any other way. Does that make sense? I'm not I'm not concerned with why the euro is 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 strengthening on uh, an interest rate cut yeah i'm i'm long gone past those days of wondering why price is doing certain things because prices are manipulated if you know what i mean we'll never truly know you know why price is doing what it's doing yes there is a conflict when you know we want to be you know you ask me about fundamentals for example and i'm saying to you all right fundamentals at this and you know this is the rules of fundamentals and this should happen over time da, 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 da. but we also have to balance that with our expectations and understanding that markets are manipulated remember if they hold rates what is everyone supposed to do? that's supposed to be positive news right so what do you think the average trader is going to do he's going to get short right we're not looking to buy the dollar at demand it, it makes no sense so with that being said i'm not concerned about the, the, the short term reaction of what the price of the euro dollar does if they hold. Yes, they've held and prices have gone higher, but if they go higher and they've held, that just means that I can, and then the euro, for example, start to, you know, quantitative ease still and do all that kind of stuff, then I'm just going to get short here. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> all right. No worries. So that's, um, so that's that. Yeah. We, I don't worry about, I don't worry about all that. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've traded the news for ages. The only time I trade the news, the only time I will trade the news. Yeah. Is if something unexpected happens. Yeah. So the expectation, if we go to Forex factory or even on, I think trading economics. Yeah. So the fed is likely to leave, uh, funds rate steady. Yeah. That's what it's likely to do. Now, so where is, where is the edge in, in, in trading? Yeah, where is the edge? The edge is to the surprise. Yeah, it's to the surprise. It's not, it's not trading, you know, Forex factory. Oh, sugar, one sec, sorry. Can you guys still see my screen? You guys can still, still see? Oh, okay, all right, cool, sorry. I thought I pressed something. Right, the edge, the edge isn't, to the downside, the edge isn't to buy the dollar in demand, is it? Yeah, regardless of what you know, um, uh, you know, divergence might be doing, right? Um, and we're in the RSI, it's still not to the downside. The edge is if there is a surprise. So, if, for example, what is expected to happen, and we should go to what we should do, matter of fact, is go to the Fed funds rate. We've been focusing so much on the uh, Bank of England. I haven't even looked at the um, the FedWatch tool. The uh, right. So, what's the expectation in three hours? Look at that. So, we've got an eighty-seven percent probability chance that they're going to um, uh, hold rates. Yeah. So, no change. Eighty-seven percent hike. Damn. Okay. So, a hike is twelve percent. So, they've been thinking about hiking now. Well, that would make sense. And why? Why can anyone tell me why that would make sense? Can anyone tell me why traders, 12% of traders may be even expecting a hike? Can anyone, I'll, I'll wait for a minute or so um, for your answers. Think about the three elements that we look for. Ah, brilliant. Inflation, Marita, brilliant. No, inflation. Right, so if you look at dollar inflation, let's go to countries. 
Marita was spot on. All right, so inflation rate is what? 2.3. That's the overall inflation rate. Look at that, rising inflation. And as we know, their target is 2%. When price goes above, or inflation, sorry, it goes above their 2% target, yeah? What central banks have to do, start to look to do now, is look to potentially curb inflation by raising interest rates. They cut rates when prices are below 2% and they raise rates potentially, you know, not to say they are, but if to, to, to try and stem and control inflation from getting out of control. Yeah. So that is exactly why. So anyone who says fundamentals don't work and all that kind of nonsense, it works. It doesn't work straight away when everyone wants it to work because, you know, and if it did, then, you know, everyone would be making money. And the point is, is that everyone can't make money in this. Yeah. There's positioning, there's manipulation, etc. But everything I teach, yeah. And if you, any of you guys have been with me long enough, yeah, you understand that this is what happens. It's, it's not even up for debate. This is the smart money here. This is not me saying, you know, and this is my, it's not my theory. This is how currencies work. This is how everything works in the market. I can't stress it enough. If you can understand the relationship between pound, sorry, pound, you know, <laughs> GDP, um, interest rates and inflation, yeah, and what, is, what, what happens or potentially happens and the probability of something happening when one thing happens over another, for example, high interest rates, or sorry, high inflation should do what to interest rates, da 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 GDP. If you could just understand the relationship of this, as night follows day, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get confirmation signals from the smart money. Yeah, These are, this is the smart money. This is the big money that's telling you, potentially 12% of them are saying that there's potentially, they, they think that there's going to be a hype going on. It's not me telling you this, it's them telling you this. So, you know, if you can just, that's why I say like fundamentals is, is the, 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 I say the be all and end all. It's part of the be all and end all. It's part of it. You know, fundamentals is how we determine value and obviously market manipulations due to liquidity and slippage and stuff like that. As long as you understand those things in a zero sum game, as long as you understand those three concepts and keep doing it, you'll be fine. Yeah. So with that being said, I was going. I was going. I was going to talk about something. That's it. Before I move on to the next question, it was about news trading and the edge. And again, I've got. If you go to the Discord group in the Discord channel, there's a news trading tab. Go there, and I explain it. And um, the edge is not to the downside. The edge is to the surprise. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to be surprised. Yeah. You you want to trade the surprise, not the expected, because it's that whole thing of of buy the rumor, sell the fact, right? Yeah. So the rumor, the, 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 by the rumor, so the fact has already been priced in. Yeah, a, a, a rate hold is already, you know, smart money's made their money. Yeah. So if a smart money's already made their money, yeah, and then they expect, you know, they do hold, the Fed do hold, then the, the not necessarily they say dumb money, but the uninformed money is going to start pressing buy, pressing sell, and they're the ones that are going to get, you know, chopped out. Yeah. Now, the edge is either to the surprise. So if they cut rates, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to take every, get everybody off guard, everybody, every single financial institution that as, 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 you know, has positioned themselves from a rate cut to a rate hike is going to be caught off guard, totally off guard. Yeah. So then they have to do what to the, to the pound. They have to now reprice what they thought the pound was worth when the fed were, cutting rate, oh, sorry, when, when the Fed were potentially holding rates, right? Does that make sense? That makes sense, everybody? Yep. All right. Yeah, so the edge is not to the hold. The edge is either to if, 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 if the Fed cut or if they hike rates. Because again, 87% of you know, the, uh, the financial institutions or whoever, whoever they get data from, yeah, is positioning themselves for a rate hold and no change. Only 12% were positioned for a hike. Yeah. So with that being said, 
that's how you trade the news. It's, it's, well, that's how I trade the news anyway. I can't tell everyone else how to like, you know, I'll just, like I said, I haven't traded the news for, for ages. I haven't sat there and been like, buy, sell, buy, sell. It's like, no, just when there's a surprise, I'll look for a surprise and that's how to trade it. Anyways, next on the, uh, the list, 